welcome, a big wingman welcome to the wingman's path, to positivity, to raising your vibration, and to creating a life of your choosing. What can be better than that, right? Coming to you from inside today as it's raining pretty hard, and I did get uh, Buster, the half basset, half beagle hound out today, but came back in and I'm ready now for a practice. And I'm feeling a little anxious. I've got some appointments going on today and and I started thinking about anxiety and I th started thinking about Thanksgiving. Yeah, I've just been through a whole big family function, my daughter's wedding, which was great. So I'm coming from a very high vibe. Um, and in thinking about Thanksgiving, right, for everyone, you know what's going on. You're going to be seeing your aunt, your uncle, your mother, your sister, your brother, your uncle, your cousin, your neighbor, your friend. And somewhere there's a twang, right? Somewhere you know how to push his buttons and he knows how to push your buttons. And somehow Thanksgiving, sometimes you get a little anxious, sometimes you get a little mad, sometimes someone does something and changes the vibration. That's what it is. You know, you get these family functions and something invariably, or can, I should say, change the family function, the energy, the vibration, right? So what do you do? You let it go. You let it go. You let it go. You just let it go. I've got some words from uh, one of the best days of my life, actually, now that I think about my wife and I, because of the wedding we were talking about, you know, my daughter was saying, ah, oh, this is the best day of my life. And her, her husband said the same. And we started thinking of best days of our lives. And I was like, hmm, that would probably be a good practice. We'll come back to that one. But I started thinking about the best days of my life. My life and I didn't really think of it. You know, when you do it, you're like, ah, I don't know. But now that I'm talking about this one, yes, this was. Because I, I got to meet and spend four days with a Zen master. And I bring it up because of the let it go practice. Because he sort of got me started on it. Because... He said, well, he said a lot of things to us that day, but that day, those four days, how cool is that, right? Some guy from the suburbs, you know, meeting a Zen master and hanging out with him for four days. It was pretty crazy and I, surreal. But he said a lot of things that I remember. The first and most important thing he said was perfect emptiness, perfect emptiness. And I was like, wow, I don't even know what that means. Uh, and so I turned that into let it go for me. And it became a practice that has helped me let things go. Just let things go. We'll talk about perfect emptiness and getting to that point later. Or if you have some insight on that, I'd love to hear from you. But for me, let it go has become a, a great mantra for just letting go so many different things. Letting go of regrets and, and, and disappointments and, and anything that brought you negative vibration. Let it go. Let it go. We're on this earth for maybe, you know, a hundred years if we're lucky. Let's explore this earth. Let's have a great time. Don't be holding stuff in your head about your brother saying something to you and you go for 20 years without talking to him. In America, it's, it's Thanksgiving weekend coming up and there's a lot of family and there's a lot to give thanks for. But I find for myself when I'm surrounded by friends and family and and which is wonderful, but when I say family, <laughs> we all know what I mean. How 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 sometimes family can get get you a little irritated, or you can irritate them, right? You can irritate them. I'll give you a great example. My son one time said to me, "And Dad, your wingman stuff sucks." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's exactly right. You know, it could blow up from there. So to keep it from blowing up, I want you to get it in your head and say, let it go. Let it go. Let anything go. You can do this. So let's let it go and see how we feel after. Let's say it for one minute so it's in our head. Join me as we say, let it go. <sighs> let it go. Let it go. Are you thinking about things? I want you to think about things that if you just let go, won't your life be a little bit easier, a little bit better? Stop holding on to stuff that's bringing, changing, lowering your vibration. Stop holding on to stuff that's lowering your vibration. Right? Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, let it go. 
I thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate the opportunity to share this practice with you and, and for you to share it with your loved ones and your family and your friends and your households because, man, when this positive energy gets going, I know what it can do when all of us are on the wingman's path together. And so I thank you for being here with me. I thank you for sharing positive energy. And I wish you a wonderful day where you can let anything that isn't high vibration and positive energy, you can just let it go, at least emotionally. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Your wingman, Michael, signing off.